Hey everybody, what's going on? Hellmite here, bringing you another video from Grab the Lantern today. Today I wanted to talk about the sudden prevalence of Ignite in the top lane, and generally kind of talking about it. What does it mean? Is it worth doing? Um, is teleport really that bad that Ignite is worth taking 100% of the time, or even 50% of the time? Generally, what are the advantages and disadvantages of Ignite top lane? Because I've seen a lot of this recently, especially following the teleport nerfs. And... Now, I didn't actually see this. This actually reminds me of when I first started playing back in Season 2, where you would have top laners on occasion take Ignite just because they wanted to kill their opponent instead of taking Teleport. And so it's kind of bringing me back to there. Now, with Teleport being nerfed, a lot of people are kind of going back to the Ignite by saying, you know what, this is going to be really relevant, I'm going to be able to do lots of damage, have kill threat, Teleport is worthless, so why would I take it, yada yada. Now... I will say that there is a time and a place to take Ignite top lane. I think that with Teleport being nerfed, there is more of a reason to not take it. At the end of the day, though, I have to say that Teleport is still the best summoner spell for top laners, disregarding anything else. Like, I would still take Teleport over any other summoner spell in the top lane, and that includes Ignite. Now, why is this? Frankly, first and foremost, I don't think Teleport is that weak. Um, obviously, the nerfs did hit it pretty hard. We get significantly fewer teleports per game than we did beforehand, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. What it just means that is that all of your teleports have to get some kind of value because you get so 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 less of them in a game, I guess is the, the way I'm trying to phrase it. Beforehand, you can kind of afford to have some crappy teleports that you end up having to cancel early or that get interrupted or just teleporting back to lane twice because who cares? You're al you're already going to be able to uh, get teleport back so many times in a game that it doesn't matter if you have one or two that don't get any value because it's fine, you're going to be able to use the summoner spell more. With the changes, it's a lot harder to get uh, teleport plays that matter because of how things work and because you get so many fewer of them if, if i use a teleport that doesn't get any value if i teleport bottom lane to try and gank and we don't get anything for it i blew a giant cooldown and that's gonna really really hurt me because now i have to walk back to top lane there's a lot of free pressure for the enemy top laner i won't have that cooldown for five to six minutes which is gonna really really hurt me when i'm trying to have global pressure elsewhere there's a lot of disadvantages that sort of come with that territory so yeah, teleport is in a difficult spot, but if you're still able to get good teleports, if you're still able to find value when you use your teleport, you're, it's still going to be a great summoner spell. And one of the biggest things I do like about it as well is that unlike Ignite, teleport is significantly better in a losing lane. If I have taken Ignite and I am losing lane, I'm in such a bad spot because all of a sudden... I can't afford I can't get back to lane if I get killed. Ignite doesn't really do that much for me if I'm behind. It gives me a little bit more damage, but if I'm behind, I'm probably already not fighting or looking for a kill. So having teleport in that losing lane is much better. So in a way, it sort of allows you to hedge your bets. In a winning lane, teleport is still good because you can sort of maintain lane pressure and always come back in order to prevent your opponent from being able to push in, being able to roam, that sort of thing. Um where at, but it also helps you if you're behind, because if I fall behind early, I have to take a bad back. I can teleport back into lane and not miss out on that much. Or like if I get cheesed at level 2 by the enemy jungler, have to blow flash, have to get away, I can always teleport back in and hopefully not miss out on that much CS. So, in general, that's why I tend to prefer teleport. I think it works a lot better for that reason. Now, Ignite does have a time and a place to be used in the top lane. I'm not going to say there's no reason to ever take Ignite, but generally speaking, Ignite is only good in the top lane if you are playing a lane bully and you're actively looking for kills early on. So if I'm Darius or Renekton or even Hell Teemo in certain matchups, sure, go ahead and take Ignite because you already have pressure just by the fact that you're playing a strong early game champion you're very scary in all ends that ignite can be the difference between getting the kill or the enemy champion walking away and so if you're really trying hard to get this early game lead going taking ignite is not necessarily a bad thing especially because you're gonna have a lot more ignites per game than your opponent's gonna have teleports per game just by how cooldowns work you could pretty much cast ignite off cooldown every single time and you would get significantly more teleports. You would almost, you still almost always have it available for the final all-in. It's really, really easy for you to get value off of that. So, 
in general, you def in general, Ignite does still have a reason to be taken, but it's not a must-pick summoner spell, I would say. Like, a lot of players are kind of just taking it on champions that aren't necessarily strong early game, like Aurelia in this matchup. There's no real reason for you to have Ignite in this matchup unless you really think you're going to be able to get some early kills, which doesn't always happen. And Aurelia has, I think, a weak enough early game that is not really that likely to happen. And I think it's sort of a disadvantage to take it because you just want to farm this out. You just want to scale up, get to your item spikes, and then be able to roam elsewhere with teleport, which is one of the biggest reasons to keep it around. The other thing to consider is the fact that um, if you take Ignite and you aren't able to get any value out of it, like I was kind of saying before, then it's just a worse teleport because the enemy team doesn't have to play with the threat of teleport hanging over them. The enemy bot lane doesn't have to worry about pushing out with wards in the bush behind them because you don't have it teleport they don't have to worry about that all they have to worry about is potentially ignite but if you get far enough ahead on it with uh with ignite in the top lane then they already had bigger problems to worry about because you're just a fed aurelia or a fed renekton or whatever you happen to be playing the other thing to kind of take a note at and i'm not going to say you know oh 100 the pros are always right but they are still all taking teleport in the top lane now teleport has mostly fallen off in other lanes um a lot of other lanes are taking summer spells like heal or barrier again there's a lot more variety in what they're choosing but if you look at professional top laners, without exception, they're all still taking teleport top. And that just kind of, yeah, there is there are reasons to take Ignite, especially in solo queue or whatever you happen to be playing. Like, obviously, that's not super competitive, so why worry about it? Um, but if you are looking to be trying to scale up the ranks, if you are looking for, you know, what is better if you've been seeing a lot of Ignite's top, I think the answer really does lie in teleport. I think having the lane pressure, having the global pressure is still significantly better than anything Ignite is going to give you in the lane, and especially is just more applicable on lots of champions. If you play Darius, you play Renekton, you play even Urgot, for example, go ahead, take Ignite, but it does mean that you need to convert on these early kills or you're just going to fall off and you don't have any global pressure left to kind of provide extra value to your team. So just my kind of two cents on this subject. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. And if you really enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. I upload a video every Monday, Friday, and on patch days as well. And if you're looking for Grab the Lantern content, you can check out my blog, link down in the description. I upload an article just about each and every single day for your enjoyment. And go ahead and let me know in the comments section what you guys are thinking of Ignite versus Teleport. If you're a Ignite aficionado, let me know down in the comments section below if you really like that summer spell better than Teleport. If you're still playing Teleport, let me know that as well. Anyways, once again, thank you guys so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll talk to you all later.